So, is this living or what? <laughs> I know this is so nice. Some of you will recognize this landscape is one that I installed two years ago. So this will be its second winter. And um, we're having this spectacularly mild fall day. It's the first week in November and uh, just exquisitely peaceful. So we're looking at fall landscape, putting the, the gardens to, to bed for the winter and grateful there's no snow on the ground. And uh, just looking, see the few invasive plants coming in around the Russian sage, a few odds and ends. Basically, I'm going to leave the, the dry seed heads on the grasses this winter. Important not to cut the roses back at this point since we're pretty close to having our first hard frost assuming and uh, we don't want to do damage to the roses so we'll let them go those are knockout roses there in the foreground and then over here are the native the rosa rugosa and they're just actually functioning as a stabilizer for the um, garden and the house the foundation of the house so they're on a small berm And then uh, there's this beautiful walkway, very natural walkway that goes down to the beach. And uh, oh, it's just so, so serene here today. Incredible. There's my shadow. And then here's our, our garden. And again, native grasses seagrasses all along the side of the the garden to stabilize that slope last year they had a storm surge event that brought water all the way up into the all the way up against the foundation of the house all the way that flowed down the side of the house into the street so those grasses really saved not only the garden itself, but also protected the house from flooding by channeling that water towards the street. So that was really successful. I'm glad for that. Um, anyway, just checking in and on my way to continue doing more fall cleanups. Obviously, this is one of my favorite spots. All right, check out our uh, garden workshops coming up starting this Saturday and continuing every Saturday th off and on through the winter. But you can pick and choose topics. They're really inexpensive, just $35 from the comfort of your own home. Okay, <laughs> check it out. It's under the event listings on this page.